Niska poet and writer Jordan Abel deals with difficult truths in his autobiography, Nishka, and he joins us this morning from Edmonton. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning. I, I say difficult truths because you were separated from your Niska heritage by the residential school system. Yes, that's that's correct. Uh, the, the way I would describe it is that I have been uh, severed from my home community uh, and from my my family uh, through intergenerational trauma. Mm -hmm. Your grandparents met at residential school. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And then you didn't really know your dad. You were taken away from your dad by your mom. Um, and 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 then it's it's that it's almost that shame of not knowing and and being corrected by a chief that who said that no, you're not Niska. Tell us about that moment. Yeah, that was a, a really strange, painful, uh, difficult moment uh, that I had with Chief Robert Joseph. That I, I describe uh, that I describe in detail with the book, uh, and it's a moment that uh, for, forms the title of the book as well. Right, because you were describing it as Nishka, which is the name the name of the book, and he said, no, 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 it's it. You're not because you didn't say it with a K. That's correct. <laughs> right, and I thought because I wondered when I was reading, I'm like, why? Why is it titled this way? But it's it, it's a very interesting book because when I opened it up and I was reading it, I almost felt like I had opened up a box of memories because it's it's not written in a like a, a linear autobiography. There are mementos in there. There's your dad's business card. There's your work and his artwork brought in together. There are police transcripts. It's it's such an interesting concept of bringing this story forward and yet I felt like I learned so much more from it as a result. Yes, it, it's, a, it's a book that's put together in a really unique way. Uh, so it's not just creative nonfiction. Uh, there's also a, a really deep visual trajectory to the book uh, where there are archival photos of me and my family. There's also uh, pieces of my dad's artwork and there's pieces of my own my own artwork uh, in relation to my dad's artwork. Right, and it, it was kind of a way you explained of, of bringing the two together. Yeah, I was really I was really interested in putting my dad's artwork in conversation with my artwork uh, since our relationship in person uh, has been so fractured. Uh, it felt like the right move to bring our artistic relationships closer together. Right. And do you feel it's helped? Uh, I, I think it's been a really cathartic process for me, yes. Mm -hmm. you, you said that you wrote this book not just for to recognize your Niska heritage, but also for all residential and intergenerational survivors. Yes, and also all communities of urban Indigenous peoples and Indigenous peoples who have been dispossessed from their home communities. I think those are communities that uh, really need to be cared for and need to be attended to, uh, and sometimes they fly a bit under, too far under the radar. Right, because people don't know. And you write so much in there. We've only got about 30 seconds left, but you write so much in there about empty spaces and those gaps that need to be filled. And, and it just gave me such a great understanding. So thank you. Thank you very much. Glad to be okay. here. Okay, it's Jordan Abel, the author of Nishka, which is out available now. And we thank you especially for getting up so early Edmonton time. Have a good day. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you so much.